Hi, I'm Doc John from Ability Doc, and I am excited to kick off a new 10 day, 10 minute challenge to improve your mobility, stability, and strength. And what we are targeting this time will be your hips. We're gonna go through three different movements to improve the range of motion in your hip. Specifically, I'm gonna come after external rotation. We're gonna do a standing pigeon pose stretch, which you may have seen before, but I'm gonna make sure that you're doing it right. And then we're gonna do fire hydrant exercise on all fours, but with a little bit of a twist. Standing, we're also going to do a hip circle exercise that I really like. These three movements you're going to do for three rounds, and it should take you under 10 minutes. Spend that time for 10 days to get the most possible change you can in as short of a time as possible. A very easy way to test and then retest at the end is to take a very ordinary chair, have a seat. We're gonna look at our left and our right side independently so that way we can get a sense of what's improving. So you're gonna just simply bring one leg up, take note on where the hip is rested. We want this hip to be seated down. No, I am not just doing a good job acting, I'm kind of tight. It's a win-win situation because I get to help you give out this information, but also I need this too. So we're gonna test the right side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left. My left side feels a little bit more mobile, but both are tight, both have room to improve, room to grow. So test left and right, and then you're gonna retest. So for this first stretch, what we're gonna do is a standing pigeon stretch. You could use the chair, a bench, anything that's um, you know below the hip, maybe at the level of your knee or so. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna let that leg come up on top. So if I were to show you from the start, you're just gonna let myself down, I'm gonna come up, bring this here. What I'm focusing on is that my knee and my pelvis are in a straight line, and that my knee and my ankle are also in a straight line. I have a 90 degree bend at my knee, and I have a 90 degree bend at my hips if I were straight up. So then what I can do from here is I lower myself down and then I can even turn into the stretch. I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds, maybe a little bit more on each side. The things that you need to watch for that a lot of people do wrong is often it's not having the knee straight off the hip. So it's either way too far out to the side here or it's the opposite and it could be way too far in. We want the knee straight off the hips. So position it like a straight line from the pointer of your hip to the top of your knee. Lower yourself down, rotate into it, let your chest come forward. You should feel all of this in the side of your hips right here. For the second exercise, what we're gonna do is fire hydrants. I'm up on top of this box, which might seem ridiculous, but it's easier for me than getting on the floor with this camera, so bear with me. You could do it on the floor. The fire hydrant traditionally looks like bringing your hip up to the side, just like this, keeping your hips level with the ground. You're going to focus on hip up, and then you're gonna rotate externally and down. So hips up, rotate, and down. So I'm going up, and then I'm turning, and down. Last but certainly not least, what we're gonna work on now are hip circles. It's, there's a little bit of nuance to it, so pay close attention. What you're gonna do is have your hands on your hips, bring your knee up, out, and back. Up, out, and back. So if I'm standing from my side, it looks like up, out, back. And when I'm back, I'm really squeezing my glutes. Up, out, back. Again, you're gonna do that for 10 times on each side. Finally, you're going to retest to see where you're at. I've only stretched through my left side. Uh, that's what I stuck to for this video. I'll do the other side later, but let's take a look. Here's my right side up and down. See where I get to, give you a little bit of a nice side angle here. And then my left side is actually just sitting quite nicely down now. If I come to the side, you can see I can really get some pretty good play down with it. Whereas with my right side, I'm stuck kind of up, still a little bit higher. So I'm gonna go work on this a bit more. You're gonna get started on our 10 day challenge. Whenever you begin, that's when your 10 days start. Just get started, get going, tag us. We'll see you soon.